All right, so we got a pretty cool one today. This is, well, new species already in 2023. I kind of heard about a little bit of these, but I kind of figured I'd go over them because, um, you know, every year there are many species that are found in very remote areas. And the fact that people are still routinely finding new species of animals to me is just awesome. I love hearing about this stuff. Um, of course, the names can be kind of funky. Like this one is DiCaprio snail eating snake named after Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, <clears throat> is one of five new snail eating snakes described by scientists. Um, they're near threatened and they're not, there aren't many large areas of unspoiled rainforest. No one knows anything about them. So for them to say things like that, I mean, that's just kind of a given considering the kind of habitat they live in. It's kind of disappearing. Um, not declining fast enough to qualify as a threatened category. So it's probably just fine. Newly discovered species known from 16 localities in Panama and Colombia. One of them is an isolated population in the Cordillero Oriental mountain range in Colombia, which occurs at high elevations and in slightly different patterns, and which may turn out to be a different species upon further genetic analysis. So they might have found two of these snakes. It's pretty cool. Oh, I am wrong. The specific epithet honors Ermelin DiCaprio, the mother of the actor and conservation, uh, conservationist Leonardo DiCaprio, who chose the name. Oh, so it's, it's, a, it's a weird back and forth. Now, DiCaprio is actually producing a um, documentary on um, uh, Florida Panthers, um, and I'm actually very interested in watching it. And, I mean, as much as I've always liked him, I think he's a little bit nutso sometimes, but, you know, again, I can get behind the conservation part of things. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Stream Tree Frog. Now, this guy looks pretty sweet. That's a pretty cool looking frog right there. That is a, can I move this out of the way? No? Okay. Just a single individual of, of this Stream Tree Frog has been found and captured despite focused searches uh, during the initial field work. However, this one individual was enough for authors of this paper to be able to describe it as a new species. This is because it has distinct enough of a morphology from other species of the same genus. That's cool. Um, only one individual so far. The species known distribution is limited to the place where it was found and captured. The southern eastern slopes of the Cordillero Oriental, a chain of Andean mountains, in the Rio Negro Sapladora National Park in Ecuador. Um, this genus of tree frogs is called stream tree frogs um, as they are usually found near streams in which they breed. For this species, the species epithet Tolkieni uh, is named in honor of the author J.R.R. Tolkien, um, known for his work in The Hobbit Lord of the Rings. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking frog. I don't know about you, but I'm sure that if enough of them are found, somebody's going to find it and it's going to end up in the pet trade somehow. I guarantee it. Uh, bent toed gecko. It just looks like any normal gecko. Looks like I confused that for a Mediterranean house gecko. <laughs> I don't like there are certain things like that where, like, I know the general species for the most part, but then you get into the weeds with like all these invasive ones that we have, and I'm just like, that's just a house gecko. I don't know what that is. The world's fourth youngest country, the Democratic Republic of Timor Leste. I don't think I've ever heard of that country, to be quite honest with you. Not saying, I mean, that's 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 got to be a new country. How old is it? Occupying the eastern half of the island of Timor, um, which is part of the Lesser Sundra Islands. I've heard of Sundra Sunda Islands. Excuse me. Uh, it's the first piece of bentoed islands described by a scientist. Huh. The gecko was first found during the day. Um, yeah, the genetics confirmed it was an undescribed species. It's the first species of bentoed geckos described by scientists in this country, which um, has had bentoed geckos seen there before, but never described to species level. Limited by, so it's just a new gecko. Cool, the specific epithet Santana is derived from the Nino Cono Santana National Park where it was found, and which it's named in honor of the freedom fighter Nino Cono Santana, who was born within boundaries of the park. Interesting. New gecko. Cool. And 
Jin Jimniers. Jimniers is in the Philippines. And look at that adorable little thing. Uh, with its golden brown fur and pointed nose. Uh, it looks like a shrew, but belongs to a mammal known as Jimniers. Jimniers? They are also known as the hairy hedgehogs or moon rats and are cl closely related to hedgehogs. Oh, that's cool. So it's a fluffy hedgehog. So it's like a hedgehog without the parts that make it a hedgehog, like that protect it. So it's just basically has no. It's a hedgehog with no protection, basically. Interesting. Um, like all members of the blue, it is found in the Philippines. It, is fa uh, it was found during a survey on the mountains of eastern Mindanao, where there have been uh, never been good surveys for mammals before. One of the highly distinct uh, things about the Philippines is that every isolated mountain or little mountain range where we have done surveys is that each and every one has several species that occur nowhere else, uh, even an adjacent mountain range on the same island. That is so cool. I would love to go to the Philippines one day and look for and just look for stuff. I mean, that's that the that fact alone is incredible. One of the highly distinct things. Uh, I just read that. Um, that's really cool. So it's a new species of hedgehog-like rodent or mammal. Is that considered a rodent? I'm not quite sure. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a dude. Well, I hope you found that interesting, like I did. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, I am recording a, a good video today. I cannot wait for it to come out. It'll hopefully come out at the end of the week. I've been working on the script for a little while now. So I think that um, you guys will enjoy it. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.